that you, dear? Yes, Mother. Did you have a nice time, dear? Very nice, thanks. Well, you don't look much like a girl who's been out having a wonderful evening. So <laughs> oh, here. Oh, what's the matter, dear? Do you remember when you told me that I might... I might have such strong feelings about a boy that it might be hard for me to decide what's right to do? Yes, I remember. Why? Well, it was something like that tonight with Jeff. You know, I like him an awful lot, but I spent all day drinking vodka from the bottle, and now I think he's cheating on me. I just got so mad, Mother. And I'm still really fucked up. And tonight I just kept getting drunker and drunker. And a boner. On my way home, I thought I parked but I backed up and hit him. I gunned it. I thought if I can't have him, no one can. But now he's dead in the road. Suddenly I realized and almost came too. So I just sped home. I don't want to go to jail. Boo! He should be sorry. This is his fault. Do you think it was his fault? Oh, I just know I can't go to jail. I won't even go camping. No, dear. I was young once, too. Perhaps I can understand something of what you feel. First, well, it all seems quite a lark. You like someone, he likes you. Everything is fun and affection. Then, all at once, you can find yourself going absolutely apeshit crazy. Your psycho bitch urges fight against your reason. Then those fine thoughts of love and affection can suddenly get twisted. Mother, is it wrong to feel hatred, malice, and spite? You with a boy you really like? Karen, if these strong feelings lead you into behaving unwisely, well, the outcome can be second-degree murder. And these are the things that can spoil the chance of your finding the very love that you're looking for. Then, Mother, how do you... Come here, dear. In the height of emotion, it's not always easy to stop and think things through. But if you'll... If you'll just slow down the rush and pressure of your feelings a little, then judgment has a better chance to take hold and guide you away from wrong behavior. But you can rely on your father and I to lie to the police for you and help fund a multi-million dollar social media campaign to fool gullible strangers with low IQs into giving us money and treating you like you're not the crazy bitch who drunkenly ran a man over with your car in a jealous rage. <laughs>